Hi everyone, Dom Designs here, and in today's video we will be drawing the new Xbox Series X controller in Adobe Illustrator. First, let's go ahead and create a new document size at 1920 by 1080p. Using the placement option, which is Command Shift P on your keyboard, I have added this image on my canvas. Make sure to resize it and center it to your liking. Let's go down to our layer panel and double click the icon. Then name your layer template and select the template option. This locks our layer and dims down its opacity. Next up, let's create a new layer and name it Outline. This is where the outline of our Xbox controller will be drawn. Let's use a black stroke with an 8 points thickness. Since this is a symmetrical image, let's begin with drawing the left side starting from the center point. Using our pen tool, let's trace this out. Once done the main lines, let's curve our corners with the selection tool. For the bottom part, I'll use the curvature tool and curve the handles outwards like this. Next up, let's draw the bumper button. Using our pen tool, we will trace and reconnect our stroke back to the beginning. To make sure that our button is on its own shape, let's select all and go to our shape builder tool. Going over the grayed out area of our button, let's click. Now that our button is separated, we can delete our overlapping shape. Using the same technique, I'll do the same for the bottom part over here. For the start button, let's use the ellipse tool. While holding down shift on your keyboard, let's place a circle right over here. Great, we're now done the left side, so let's head over to the reflect tool. Option clicking in the middle of our controller and click on copy to copy it over to the right side. Next, we will want to merge the middle part of the controller. So let's select both sides and go to our pathfinder and click on merge. Next, we will draw the upload button using the rectangle tool. Let's move on to the Xbox button. Let's start with a circle. Then for the X part, I will draw a straight line with our pen tool. Then I'll be curving the stroke with the curvature tool. Finally, when we are done, I will use the width tool over here to click and thicken the line. Since this is a stroke, we will want to make a shape out of it. So let's go to our top menu and select Object, Path, Outline Stroke. And to end this off, we will reflect it. For the joysticks, let's use our ellipse tool. Now, for the directional pads, I'll start with a circle, then I'll create a square within it and make sure it's aligned to the center. I'll then do a copy and paste in place and stretch out our square horizontally. Let's do a copy and paste in place again and rotate the rectangle vertically. Now by selecting all, using the shape builder tool, let's delete our overlapping shapes while holding down option on our keyboard. Let's complete the remainder of our outline and move on to the coloring part. Okay, so now that we have our outline completed, let's add color and shading. Create a new layer and name it color. Make sure that the color layer is below the outline layer. Next, we will shift select all our main shapes and go down to the layer panel. By holding option on your keyboard, drag that little red square below to the green square on the color layer. This duplicates our shape on its own layer. Let's do this for the buttons as well. Alright, now selecting the shapes on our color layer, let's replace the stroke for a dark grey color. I'll give the buttons and joysticks a lighter grey tone. Next, I'll be going back to the outline layer and give the letters on the buttons their colors. Using the DOM Designs color palette, I'll assign each their own color. 
I will also change the colors of the icons to a gray. Now let's add our highlights. Let's select the main controller area and go to the edit panel and do a copy and paste in place twice. Now move the top layer to the right to create a gap. Select the shape builder tool. By holding down option on my keyboard, I'll delete the shapes I don't want. Now let's color this shape white and bring down its opacity. I'll do the same for the bumper buttons. Great, now let's add a shadow to the right. With the pen tool, I'll draw a shape like this, then select both the main shape and the one we just created, and go to our Shape Builder tool to delete the overlapping part. I'll then give this a black color and bring down its opacity to create the shadow. Let's add extra highlights and shadows. With the pen tool, I'll create a curve like this, I'll then go to the Width tool and click and drag the middle part of the stroke to make it thicker. I'll then adjust it to my liking. Once I'm content, I'll go to the Object menu and go to Path, Outline Stroke. Let's copy the opacity over with the Eyedropper tool and there you have it. I'll then Option drag this highlight to the right side and flip it. And again with the Eyedropper tool, I'll select the shadow. This gives it a deeper shadow. Great, so I'll repeat these steps for the remainder of our drawing. And here you have it. This is how you draw the new Xbox Series X controller in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Cheers everyone!